guys, happy Three String Thursday. I'm Mike Snowden. I'm down here in my shop in Marietta, Georgia. SnowdenGuitars.com is where you can find me online. Hope everybody's having a great week out there. This is going to be part two of how to play 145 Blues. The video I did two weeks ago, I just wanted to show you guys, I had a lot of people ask me about my right hand. I showed you guys, you know, the open, the fifth fret, and the seventh fret on how to play 145 chord progression blues there. And uh, a lot of people ask me about the right hand. Like, what are you doing over here? <laughs> you left one out. So, yeah, man, that's what I was going to show you guys today. So, give you guys a couple pointers on what I do. And, uh, man, by any means, is this not the way, the correct way or whatever? I don't know. This is just the way I do it. So, I want to show you guys what I do with my right hand. And hopefully this helps you guys out with, uh, with your cigar box guitar playing. So, I got a pick. And I'm just got it between my thumb this is just I'm just gonna show you guys pick stuff today so I got my thumb and my pointer finger and I got my pick right here and I'm ready to rock so there's two methods I want to show you guys and then you can kind of mix and match so check this out like that one four five we were doing one way you can just play it is literally just strumming up and down just go up and down with your pick and your thumb and your pointer finger <laughs> So yeah, that's just strumming up and down. So check this out. Here's a here's the second part of the equation. Here's a, here's another way to pick, and this is when you start to get a little more when you're wanting to get a little more detail in what you're playing instead of just strumming up and down. You kind of need to control your pick a little bit better. So what made me think of this was looking at this guitar. This is my old red guitar, and you can see exactly where my arm when I'm playing where my hand goes and my arm goes. My arm rests right here and my fingers this is actually this is all from my fingers um my pinky and my ring finger kind of mount like that so check it out i'll show you on this guitar i got that guitar's got a lot of miles on it <laughs> so yeah what i do is i rest my arm mount it here and then my pinky and my ring finger go here <laughs> What that does is it gives me a lot more control over what I'm picking. And also I can another tip is use the outside of your palm. That can rest on the strings, your two fingers, and your arm. Any combination of that, when and when your when your hands, when your palm is on your strings, you can do a little chunky stuff there like a little palm muting stuff so yeah when you're getting into more slide and more uh, picking things that would be really hard to do if your if your hand is just out and your arm and your I don't, I don't even know if I could do it but it can, it can be done <laughs> But I, I can't do that very well. I need something to, I need a mount, man. I need my hand to be in control. You use com you can use combinations of that. When you're jamming out. But when you do want to do a little slide bit, I always mount my hand down. keep it a little more in control and anywhere in between that you know and also when you're playing the further you pick back to the bridge it gets real tight and real uh, trebly and, and plinky and the, when you move towards the neck you 
just get different tones depending on where you are. So that's another 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 pointer that you probably already know. But also, the further you are back to the bridge, your strings are a little more predictable where they're going to be. The further you get away from the bridge, they, they vibrate more and it's hard to get a little accuracy. So keep that in mind too. So yeah, man, you can strum and let it rip. You can mount it down with your, with your arm, your pinky, your ring finger, your palm. And it doesn't have to be mounted down like super glue. It, it's just around in that area to keep, your, to keep your pick where it needs to be to pick out those strings. you know set in stone or a, a rule or whatever it's just the way i play so i'm mean, hoping those little tips help you guys out rocking out in your cigar box guitar so you guys have a great great week and i'll see you guys next week <laughs>